Hello, this is Deborah. The December solstice marks the sun's southernmost point in our sky. In 2023, it happens at 327 UTC on December 22nd. That's 927 p.m. Central on December 21st for us in the Americas. All of Earth will have its southernmost sunrise and sunset. The sun will be overhead at noon, as viewed from the Tropic of Capricorn, an imaginary line 23.5 degrees south of Earth's equator. We in the Northern Hemisphere will mark our longest night and shortest day of the year. And although no governmental or scientific body has declared it to be so, by tradition we'll say it's the first day of winter. Fun fact, the full moon is always opposite the sun, and at the solstice the sun rides low in the sky from this hemisphere. So for us, this upcoming full moon, closest full moon to the solstice on the night of December 26-27, will take its highest path across the sky for 2023. And that's why some in this hemisphere will call December's full moon the long night moon. Plus, did you know Earth is closer to the sun on the December solstice than at the June solstice? Earth's perihelion, our closest point to the sun, comes in early January every year. So Earth is moving fastest in orbit around now. We all know that for all of Earth's creatures, nothing is so fundamental as the length of daylight. And we know early people tracked the sun's path across the sky, the length of daylight, and the location of the sun on the horizon. The earliest people surely knew the sun's path was lower in winter than in summer. And they knew, as we know today, that at some special point the sun would start moving higher in the sky. After the solstice, light and warmth would return to the world. And all of nature would respond to the sun's return and to seasonal change, and that includes us. We're Earth Sky, and I'm Deborah Bird. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching.